Hi guys, today we'll be writing a function that takes in one integer and pins the following Christmas tree pattern below. Take note that the height of the tree trunk always has a height of 2. So this is how the pattern looks like. And if our input is a tree, we can see that uh, our Christmas tree looks like this. There's a triangle of um, height 3 and then there's going to be a trunk of height 2. And if our input is 4, our top triangle is going to have um, a height of 4 and our bottom trunk is still going to have a height of 2. And if our input is 5, we are going to have a top triangle of height 5 and also a trunk of height 2. So do pause this video and take some time to solve this question before we get to the solution. So first things first, before we dive right into the code, let's try to find some patterns in our patterns. So over here, we can see that there's going to be um, two spaces, two space, and there's going to be uh, one star. Here, there's going to be um, one space, and there's going to be um, three stars. And here, there's going to be zero space, because it's all the way at our left. And there's going to be five stars. Okay. So let's do the same for um, our input is n is equal 4. So here, we are going to have three spaces. Yep, three spaces. And we are going to have one star. And over here, we are going to have um, two spaces and three star. And here, we are going to have one space and five stars. And lastly, we have zero space and seven stars. Okay, let's go to our final test case. We are going to have four space and one star. Here, we are going to have um, three space and three stars. And then we are going to have two space and five stars. We are going to have one space and um, seven stars. And we are going to have zero space here and nine stars. All right, so this is the pattern that we are going to be working with. Let's uh, write our function. Find Christmas tree. Okay, let's have an n here. Okay, so first things first. If n is five, we know we are going to print five lines. So we know that there's going to be a for loop involved. So for i, sorry for i in range n. Let's print i first just to double check what's happening. Okay, Christmas tree, oops. 5. Okay, let's run this. Alright, so we are going to print um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And there's going to be 5 lines just like this one. So our next task will be to actually generate these numbers here. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 and 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Like this. So from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, we have to generate the numbers 4, 3, oops, 2, 1, and 0. This is for the spaces, and then we need to generate 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. This is for the number of stars. This is just for the top triangle. We will we'll settle this um, trunk later. Alright, let's settle the number of spaces first. So as we can see, as our i increases by 1 at each iteration, our number of spaces decrease by 1. So we know there's going to be a negative i somewhere involved there. So let's uh, print this. So here we can see that the decrease is correct, and we need to add some sort of um, constant to this. So let's try n. And not quite correct, so we just need to minus 1, and we are going to get 43210. Yep, so this is the first number that we have generated. So now let's generate um, 13579 from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So as i increases by 1, our number of stars will increase by 2. So we know there's going to be a 2 times i involved. So we have um, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Not quite correct, but we just need to add 1 to this to make it correct. Yep. So we can see here that we have um, actually generated this uh, correct numbers. And so now we can actually multiply them with their respective strings to make to um, print the top part of our pattern. Yep, here, uh, let's remember to add our brackets. So here is uh, multiply by a star, and we need to add brackets for this uh, number over here. And let's change this comma to a plus so that it will print our pattern without any weird spaces. And here we can see that we have uh, managed to print the top triangle for um, our Christmas tree. So let's um, change this to a 4 and check if it uh, behaves correctly. Yes, it does. And let's change this to a 3 and double check it. Yep, great. Okay, so the second part of our function is that we need to print the stop over here. So essentially, it's just going to be 4 space and 1 star. And this happens um, twice. 
So here, just for i in range uh, 2, because the height of the trunk is always 2, we just need to print uh, times n minus 1. Sorry, minus 1. And we need to add a star there. Alright. So this works for 5. This will work for 4. Great. And 3. Alright, great. And there we have the solution for our question.